That's right. It's time to get Thorne again, where I, Reverend William Thorne, use the internet to tend to the souls of Mercy Anglican and quite possibly the world. Uh, but this week, the show isn't about me. No, it's about your questions and how I, Reverend William Thorne, answer them. So let's get right to the old mailbag. I'm just going to pick a letter at random here. Uh, no. Uh, there it is. We'll do this one. Reverend, <clears throat> I'm a huge fan. Now, that's a nice and unexpected compliment. You've rekindled my faith, and Mercy Anglican is lucky to have such a treasure at the pulpit. Oh, please. I'm blushing. Stop. Oh, she does. Mm. Anyway, here's the question. Uh, since Jesus was born to a woman, begotten and not made, what kind of relationship would Jesus have had with his father during his time on earth? a good question. Father and son relationships are never easy. Uh, of course, Jesus and God are one and the same, but it's true that Jesus did walk on the earth separate from his father, alone, in a sense, adopted, as it were. And as much as Mary and Joseph loved him, there must have been times where it, he would have given anything to see his real father. Sure, he knew his father loved him, but would have been nice for him to stop by, but, uh, you know, he was always busy uh, answering prayers or traveling on business. But when Jesus was curing the sick or the weak or turning water into wine or graduating, there must have been times it would have been nice to have his dad there, you know, just to say, I'm proud of you or nice job or that he's sorry he didn't make it to that recital even though he promised he would and you practice and practice just so he'd see how good you were. But of course, uh, Jesus loved his father and God loved his son as he loves all things and now they rule forevermore, Jesus at the right hand side of his father, forever and always. Lucky guy. Um. Well, that's uh, all the time we have. Uh, tune in next week when we talk about the, the book of Genesis. A long rambling list or a meaningful metaphor? Till then, thorn out. <laughs>